Hello, this is Sal. Uh, this is a free practice lab how to configure HSRP, Hot Standby Routing Protocol, and GLBP, Gateway Load Balancing Protocol. But unfortunately, Packet Tracer doesn't support the configuration of the GLBP. But I explained the steps how to be configured uh, if you follow the walkthrough document. I hope my videos are helpful for those who are seeking to be certified for the CCNA and the CCNA security exams. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel and recommend it to your friends and share it and give me the thumb up. And please let me know if you have any suggestions, comments or questions. I will gladly answer you back. On the description of this video, you will find two files, one for the packet tracer source files and the documents to walk you through the lab step by step until you finally will be able to verify the configurations you did during this lab. Now, spanning a tree provides loop-free redundancy between switches within your LAN. However, it does not provide redundant default gateways for end-user devices within your network if one of your routers fails. First Hub Redundancy Protocol FHRP provide redundant default gateways for end devices with no end-user configuration necessary. In today's lab, we will configure FHRPs, HSRP, and GLBP. HSRP is easier to configure. There are more options with GLBP which can make it complex to configure. GLBP is better because the fall of a router is not needed to start using the other router. GLBP permits the use of both routers doing the load balancing. HSRP uses only one router and if it fails, then the other router start to manage the traffic. Good luck and wishing you all a nice day. I will see you soon in my next video. Thank you so much.